Hey everybody, welcome back to another PAL Plays The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went to Lake Floria, and we met the water dragon, who was injured by Gurahim, and so we went to, we, we're going back into, we're going back through Skyview Temple to find the sacred water that's located somewhere in here that will heal her. It's somewhere through that locked door or at the end of the temple or something. So we're going to do that. So last episode I said I didn't really know what to do, but I, I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, and I found out that actually those amber relics are not set. They have certain locations that they can be and they'll like randomly spawn at them. Because this is the third take of this episode, sadly. And the first one, there was an amber relic there, and there was an amber relic there. The second take, which I reset the Wii, so it didn't have any memory of me getting them. Second take, one was there, but there wasn't one there. So it was hidden somewhere else. It was actually, you know where it was? It was underneath that log, which there isn't one there now. So they actually randomly appear. So if I find one and you don't see it, that's it's possible that it has spawned somewhere else, which is interesting. So we saw a Magma. Maybe we'll see more of him. And like a psychic, there he is. Just fantastic. I work like a weasel just to swipe a key from that monster. Then I have, I have to go and lose it. I just can't remember which hole I hid it in. Aw, and here I thought I... I, that key would be my ticket to a life of luxury. I could have sworn I buried it right around here. So, there's a key somewhere around here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot you because you're bugging me. Yeah. Multiple takes seems to be a theme right now. Oh my word, you startling me. Nope, get through there. It seems to be a theme recently because first time... My computer was super laggy, and it didn't capture, like, any of the commentary. And the the second time, I lost commentary again. So it's an issue with my microphone or something, which is very concerning because it's an expensive microphone. I, I don't know what's ha happening. It's kind of been recently with the channel. It's been kind of one thing after another. Um, first, it was my editing thing, which I explained last episode and the episode before that. Um, then, just recently, I uploaded an episode, and we can go through here now. I uploaded an episode, and I noticed that, actually, the aspect ratio is off again, which is the problem I had the first time with the editing thing, so that was very panicky. And... And... Then I, I just discovered I had some formatting tags wrong. And then it's this with the microphone, which is one of the scariest ones of all because I don't know what's going on. Oh man. Come on, spawn new heads. No. There we go. You have to be you have to stand back a little bit. You can't be up close. So there's a tip for defeating Staldra. So what you want, what we want to do is run through here, go straight, go straight to the end of the dungeon, hide here, and we're gonna sink our Wemo. No, I'm swinging downward. Oh man, this is really bad. I'm swinging downward, and it's swinging up. Okay. Okay, sinking. There we go. Okay. So what we want to do, we're going to do this all stealth-like. We're going to approach them. We're going to approach them from the side. Apparently they saw us. We're going to fly down here and grab a bomb. And kill them both off, and they're both dead, and we are free to, we're free to move out the cabin. So we can just move right along here. Okay, now something's gonna happen that's kind of puzzles me. Okay, watch. 
He appears. Sheesh, I dig some serious miles to get my paws on treasure, and I found Squat. Talk, talk about bad luck. How could he have tunneled his way from that room to this one? There's a gigantic gorge in the way. I think some no-good thief beat me to the goods. There's nothing here but water now. <sighs> who in the stinking world would want to come all this way for water? Nobody, that's who. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. Maybe he tunneled around, which is quite an achievement. Man, that drop. Ugh, gross. So we're going to go through here. And no, we don't get to fight Gurham again. Sad as that is. Gurham was a really cool boss fight. But sadly, he's not in here again. He's, he doesn't need sacred water. He has Propel. <laughs> Propel is a... a energy health drink. Well, it's not an energy drink. It's a... It's like really good flavored water. It's not like really bad flavored water. It's kind of sweet. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna do some hit and run. We're gonna try to get him in single file lines. Because then, they can't flank us. Ow. Okay, we're doing pretty well. This one's at full health. In case you- Ow. In case you can't tell, the, the amount of rips they have it is an indicator of their health. These guys, these guys are actually like Gurgans. Ow! I always get hit by that second hit. Die. Ow! Ow. Man, we're, we're getting low on health. Okay, sheesh. Four hearts. I'm not going to bother to pick up rup uh, not rupees, hearts, because there are just going to be fairies in here. That was brutal. Now, I said when we fought the uh, first one that they are going to become semi-regular enemies, and they did. Also, question. Can we... is that... No? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna try to get multiple at once. We're gonna try to get this group, these churry. Okay, they're all together. No, 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 no. We got two. That's fine. We're up to 12 now. And 12. I know this because of the previous takes, which is sad. I want to stop doing that where I say, I know this because of the previous take. I want it to be fresh. I can't wait till we stop having those problems. So we're going to go ahead and down. Oh, it's right here. Wait, I scooped. That was weird. Got some sacred water. So, the game designers will be amazing and do this. Watch. There's a 90% probability that the water here is identical to the water within the water dragon's basin. I suggest we take it back to her. They're going to warp us out to the entrance. That's really, really nice of them. I'm really glad they did that. And also, we're... They were kind to us, now we're not going to be kind to this guy. Close, close. Okay, one more. R oh, is right. He just got comboed. That was not his lucky day. And what we want to do is grab the beetle, because there's a beast nest up there and they'll 
Get it? They'll bug you. And we want to drop it down on this guy. We're just gonna be jerks. I think we missed him. We did. Oh, man. Oh, we're gonna be a jerk to this guy. Hello. Are you coming? No, you're not. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump up here and choo choo. And. And we're gonna kill them, and we're gonna use our beetle third time. And we're gonna get this. Why bee larva is a treasure? It should be bees wax. Because bees wax could be used for something. The bee larva cannot be used to make a shield. I do not care what you say. No, you... Oh, sweet. Wait, where'd it go? Did... Okay. I thought it glitched through the log, and I was gonna be like, No, I wanted that! But no, we're good. So we're actually gonna mark on our map. No, we can't. Okay, let's go this way. Hopefully this is the last technical problems I have. Everything looks great, but I don't know. They kind of looked great last episode. So we're going to go through here. We're going to grab this. And we're going to continue on. We're, going, we're trying to get as far as we can this episode. Also, you can kind of see through those. I mean, it makes sense because they're amber, but you can kind of see the hole in them. There's a Bakblin over there. I don't like him. So we're going to leave him alone, because I don't think they, to my knowledge, they do not drop treasure. These guys do, though. <laughs> they all scream. No, you don't cheer him on from there. You fight like a man. No treasure from any of them. That, that, I feel, I just could, that was a ripoff. So what we want to do is jump down here, jump over here, push this. I only wish we had a stamina potion. Go over here, jump on this, swing, jump, run, chop, let me through, let me through, thank you. Come here. Come on. Oh, look at you. We're just being a jerk to this guy. We're gonna continue on. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I wasn't even commentating there, so it wasn't even funny. I'm sorry. I, I do apologize. Okay, I, I need to start commentating. Sheesh. What am I? What am I? 
I'm just playing this silently. <laughs> I, I find it really funny that we just jumped into the thing, into the water with a harp. Hey, I went to uh, McDonald's, got you a shake. Do you want it? Yes, just look at that color. There's no doubt that this is the shake I need. Quickly, bo boy, pour it into my basin. Pour a milkshake into your hot tub? Okay. Maybe it's wine. And she just, like, you know, like people have wine in the pool for whatever reason. Maybe that's what she's doing. And secret boss fight reused from Majora's Mask. It is... Georg! Or it's just her, bigger. Mmm, exquisite. I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of Pharaon, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, healed and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now it is no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favor you've asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. And the designers are going to be kind again and warp us again. Now, behold. This waterfall. I am going to power up like Tien from Dragon Ball Z. And lift the waterfall. Just like just like Tien in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z when he was lifting the waterfall for practice. So does Farron. Apparently Farron taught Tien or Tien taught Farron. One of the two. I wish we could ask her. Go. The sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in, and inside they flourish. Ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Swatting a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. Farewell, boy. Away! Can we see her up there? No, we cannot. Too bad. That is too bad. Gonna dive in here and spin up here, and we're going to actually wait. There's a secret over here. Link, I see a randomly generated thing over there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab it. You can never have too many of these things. Interesting note: you can skip that on the water. Okay, there are no other secrets that I can see. Except the fact that we're bit in a, fish, a fish's mouth. They told me there's an Arby's in here. I'm determined to find it. This is another reason why I chose this shield for this area. Because... It fits it very well. Ancient cistern. Shouldn't it say the? The ancient cistern? Are there multiple ancient cisterns? I don't know. So, this is the water temple of Skyward Sword. And unlike most water temples, it is not nearly as hard. Treasure, give us treasure, please. Treasure. Oh, good. And it popped, it flew right into us. That's pretty cool. Very convenient. And we're going to go ahead and grab this. Link. Link. Link! Get the thing, thank you. Sheesh, Link. You'd think you were from Twilight Princess. How derpy you were just then. Sheesh. Speaking of which, um, this is actually the oldest version of Link. 
Um, I believe the link in this game is 21. So he is the oldest one. Yeah. So due to previous takes, I can tell you immediately what this is. Up, down. Oh wait, I messed up. Up, down, right, left. Wait, it's not. Oh, wait, oh no, no, no. It's up, down, left, right. There we go. Also, I like... It's like the Tree of Gondor. I think I mentioned that earlier. Oh, and this this says, um, Strike the gemstones pointing in four directions wisely. The way will only open for one who for the one who knows the temple's secret order. I have no idea where to find that. So in here... Stupid spider. You're gonna die for that. And you... So does your brother. I said... I said... So does your brother. There you go. And... Let's see, where are we going? Oh yes, we're going this way. Now, if you, um... If you went up there, if you bothered to go up there and jump down and flip that one, there'd just be 20 rupees. I'm not interested in those, so I'm just going to continue on. That spider is very had very convenient placing for me and just hit, hit him with my sword. Now what you want to do is jump down here. You'll flip this. And... You want to dive. There, there are just three green rupees over there, so you don't want that. What you want is to go in here... Grab this red rupee and head through these wooden barricades. And up. And through the store. Now, in the in the time we have left in the episode, I'm going to show you two secrets in the main room. And we get a small key for our troubles. So what we want to do is go up this water spout to exit this room, which looks like a, an asparagus, if you ask me. Doesn't it? It looks just like an asparagus. Up the asparagus, and up to this pathway. Okay, and down here. And through here. Now, there are two secrets, as I said, in this main room. Now, let's see, where's the first one? The first one's right here. You just want to spin and grab this rupee. Now, if you don't spin, that hand will grab you, and you don't want that, because it'll steal your air, and it'll just waste your time. So, what you want to go to is the hand on the other side, which also holds a silver rupee. If we, we can see it. Ah, here it is. And spin. So we got two silver rupees. We got a key, and in the next episode, we will head through that door and see what's on the other side. See you guys then for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword.